Good morning and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be taking you through a full day of eating in lockdown. Um, currently I'm on a cut, so uh, in a bit of a calorie deficit, trying to lose some body fat, trying to get a bit leaner for summer, hopefully, praying that we can come out of lockdown. And who knows, show, it, show the bod off a bit, show the new functional skills. I am um, currently practicing uh, skipping, um, I've downloaded Chris Hemsworth's Center app, so that's helping. He's got a few boxing workouts. I do a live um, workout on Facebook at 11 a.m. every morning. But today we're going to take you through exactly what I eat, uh, the exactly the amount of calories. I'll take you through the plan that I have over the next coming weeks in terms of dropping those to make sure that we keep burning fat. Ellie herself has just started on her diet as well, so who knows? Let's see in 10 or 12 weeks time where she's at. Yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, give it a comment, and uh, share it with all your friends so they can learn how to get lean as well. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So, it's now 10 past nine. What we're gonna do, Theo's had his breakfast over in the high chair. Uh, he had porridge. I'm not gonna put the calories and the macros for his up. Um, but I'm going to have an egg white omelette with 500 grams of egg whites. So that's quite a lot. Give you roughly about 50 grams of protein in that. We're also going to throw in uh, one normal egg just for the healthy fats and the things that come with the yolk. Uh, then I'm going to have three pieces of wholemeal bread. Uh, I'm going to toast those nice and uh, nice and toasty. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to cook this up. And um, I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end, and I'm going to eat it. breakfast is made we've got an egg white omelette not the prettiest one I've made um, but I'm sure it'll be just as nice we've got two and a half pieces of toast two and a half because big ass fly landed on one of the pieces so I threw it away of course I wasn't gonna eat that um, but yeah there is uh, 253 grams worth of egg whites here it's got a massive uh, around 52 grams of protein in it so nice bump of protein um, to begin the day with the pieces of toast only about 260 calories themselves so all in all around 510 calories for this entire meal um, and this will fuel me for the workout that we've got later on in the day um, but yeah I'm gonna eat this now I'm gonna enjoy this grab a cup of coffee as well and we'll see you guys in a bit finished a 21 minute hit session we did skipping intervals uh, one minute of skipping 30 seconds of push-ups as many as you can do and then on the second round of rest so after two and a half minutes work you get a 30 round uh, 30 round 30 seconds rest period but I'll, I'm gonna put that up as a short video 
um, short workout for you to follow on my Instagram. Um, but now me, Ellie and Theo, we're gonna make some lunch and I'll show you, of course, what that's going to be. In the meantime, I'm gonna have two squares of chocolate and an apple as a snack before lunch because Yo! <laughs> and if anybody is wondering what an 11 month old baby eats for his starter, for his lunch, it is peanut butter and apple sticks. And he's gonna get this absolutely everywhere. I haven't given it yet to him because he'll get messy, 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 won't he? I'm just feeding you. Mm. No. <laughs> oh, just suck the peanut butter off. There you go. No. Okay, I'm doing really, really well. I've got seven teeth now. Seven. Seven. Can you say dada? <laughs> da 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 da. What about mama? Can you say mama? Yeah. Mama. Who's over there? Look. Say mama. Yeah. Mama. No, he doesn't want to say mama. For my lunch, I'm gonna make it nice and easy. I'm gonna have some zero sh zero sugar. Usually crunchy, which is delicious actually, even though it's got no sugar in it. I'm gonna weigh that out. Gonna get some milk too. Some leche semi desnatada. I did try with that one. So, I'm gonna go for around 100 grams of this. Right, it's 103 grams, and then there's, there's enough to make a small bowl. Put it on the milk setting. Add the, the leche. As much milk as you want. I'm gonna go for about that much milk. It comes to 140 ml. Then I'm also going to have this Active Women's Everyday Protein Blend. Strawberry cream flavor from my protein. I actually have a shaker cup, so I'm going to go with my blender cup. Boom. You can see how I do this, it's very easy. It only takes two seconds to weigh your food. Take it off milk, put it onto grams. Now I'm going to put in there we go. Fifty four grams of the protein blend. So this entire meal, the cereal, the protein, this comes to six hundred and ninety six. Uh, calories with about 50 grams of protein, 75 grams of carbs, but I'll whack everything up on the screen now for you and um, Yeah, I'm gonna sit down and eat this Also, it has been about five hours uh, Since the last meal and since the last snack um, So I'm currently cooking dinner for me Ellie and Theo. We're gonna have uh, some pork mince with some vegetables some tomato fritter and I'm gonna serve that on some potatoes, so nice and healthy. Um, I'll put the calories and the macros up on the screen as usual, um, but that should leave me some space to have some more chocolate, which I'll have now before, as Ellie and Theo have gone out for their one hours of exercise, as we are so lucky. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to have that now, along with two medium kiwis, um, as a bit of a snack because I'm pretty hungry, as you can imagine. Um, and then that will be all the calories, and I'll show you um, exactly what we end up on today in terms of protein, etc. But yeah, see you in a bit. And this, folks, is my dinner setup. Lovely, the sun will set just over that island bridge over there. Me, Theo and Ellie are going to sit and enjoy the sunset when it does. And then we'll put Theo to bed. Well, as promised, I'm going to go through exactly what my calorie plan is uh, for the upcoming weeks, maybe the next five or six weeks, depending on how lean I get. If I get nice and lean, I'll stop, go back up to maintenance. Uh, if I feel a bit too, a bit too chubby in areas, I'll keep going. Anyway, what I'm going to do is break down exactly how I do things using my fitness pal um, and how I calculate everything um, just so you can follow along if you want to try it I promise you I've seen really good results with this so give it a go and um, yeah who knows maybe you'll get shredded for summer like me <laughs> anyway um, I've written it down on a piece of paper so I'm gonna focus the camera on that and talk you through exactly what is involved so this is how I do it. How to get lean 101. Um, what you're gonna start with finding is your calorie deficit. This here, all the calorie deficit means is eating an amount of calories below your maintenance. Now we'll get to what maintenance is in a second. So a calorie deficit, is, it just means eating below what your body burns, basically. Then we're going to work out your maintenance. Obviously you need to know what your maintenance is in order to lower your calories into a deficit. So to find out your maintenance, you're going to type into Google Total Daily Energy Expenditure Calculator, or TDEE. -E. Now, I'd recommend using a, a mixture of different websites. Use two or three and use that to just get an average. It'll ask for your height, your age, your current weight in pounds or kilos, and then it will just do the equation for you. Um, on the other hand, if you just type in TDEE, -E, equation there's a few equations you can use if you like doing the maths anyway let's say your maintenance is 2800 calories a day you've got a bit of muscle on you but you're feeling a bit podgy as well just like me um, now i don't know if this is my caloric maintenance at the moment i just know that i'm in a definite deficit from previous experience so you work out your maintenance and it's 2800 calories a day now one pound of fat is 300 at, sorry 3,500 calories and if you divide that by seven it nicely comes to 500 calories so we're dividing that by seven because there are seven days in the week now one pound of fat if that is your goal is a nice slow and steady healthy number to be losing per week you can bump it up to two pounds a week that's the absolute uh, highest I'd go personally um, but that means you're gonna have to drop your calories down lower and of course we want to eat as much food as possible while still getting lean so you divide it by seven you get 500 calories a day is what you're going to drop by now that brings you from 2800 your calories your maintenance calories to 2300 this is then your goal calories for the day and if you put this into the goal section in my fitness pal what will happen is it will work out your protein for you it's usually worked out lower than what you would need I'd change that, make sure that it's at least a pound, gram, sorry, per pound of body weight. So, for example, if you weigh 185 pounds, you will eat 185 grams of protein a day. Now, once you get to this 2,300 calorie number and you've started eating at that number, you're hitting your protein, your carbs, your fats a day, you're exercising, what you want to do is just maintain <coughs> a close eye on your weight. Have a look at what your weight is doing daily, or if you don't like measuring yourself daily, do it weekly. What that will mean is that you can see any weight fluctuations, your weight should begin to drop. When your weight drops and it slowly plateaus, 
which it will do at some point. Uh, what you'll then do is, what I do personally, is just take away 100 calories from this per day. That takes away 700 calories per week. And see what that does. Your body will respond and start losing weight again. And that is the healthy way that I do this. I cut, I shred, in order to make sure that I'm eating as much food, I'm maintaining my muscle mass as much as possible while still getting the results I need. Hopefully this has helped you. Take a screenshot of this and uh, you can use it. My Fitness Pal is the app that I use to track my calories. If you want me to explain how to do that and how I do that, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to put that in the next video.